Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United back to their regular scheduled programme and in today's episode we are going to face Braga in the Europa League quarterfinals. It's two legs this time rather than the one like it was against Porto in the last round. We are definitely playing a weaker side this time. Hopefully we can do a bit better. And of course there has been a few fixtures since the last time we met, the first of which was a one all draw at home to Aston Villa. Tyrone Mings put them in front in the 27th minute. Thankfully for us, I thought we weren't going to be able to break them down. We didn't really create that many great opportunities. But Erling Haaland in the 66th minute got the goal, that got us a point. And to be honest with you, based on the match stats, you would think we should have got three points here. Next up was an away tie against Brighton Hove Albion in the Premier League. Jean-Pierre and Willem got the goals for us in the 67th and 77th minute respectively to give us the three points in today's game. Next up was a home tie against Leicester which we won 4-2. Dodo with the 16th minute goal. Sebastiano Esposito with two and Marcos Antonio came on and got a late goal as well. Uh, Philippe Benkovic and Nani Demata with the goals for Leicester. We then went on to the FA Cup 6th round, which is away from home against Crystal Palace. We played a pretty strong side, thinking there might be some opportunity there for a domestic cup triumph. There's Erling Haaland and Jean-Pierre got the two goals. That's seen us see the uh, Crystal Palace off 2-1. And finally, this was the final game before Braga today. And unfortunately, we fell to a 2-1 away defeat against Manchester City. Erling Haaland had put us in front in the 33rd minute, but a Jack Butler known goal and a Raniel... Coming off the bench, getting the goal in the 88th minute, gave Man City the three points. And he's quite a good striker. And after those run of fixtures, we currently find ourselves still in fourth position in the Premier League. We are only six points ahead of Chelsea now. We have dropped a couple of points there from uh, last time we checked. And we're also eight points behind Arsenal in third position. So it does look like it's going to be a straight battle with Chelsea for the fourth position with only eight games to go in the Premier League. But the Premier League is, of course, not what we're doing today. We are in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. This is how the draw ended up, up uh, turning out. Mönchengladbach against Manchester City, Frankfurt against Villarreal, and Benfica against Schalke. And, of course, we are against Braga. And we are at home in the first leg. And this is how we're going to line up for today's game. Jack Butland will, of course, start in goal. Bella Kotchap, Onjean and Tilo Kerra will be our three centre-halves. Dodo and Luca Pellegrini will be our wing-backs. Marcus Antonio gets the nod in the box-to-box -box midfielder role alongside Danny Olmo as the Metzala. Jean-Pierre in behind Erling Haaland and Sebastiano Esposito. Now, when the draw was done, I'll not lie, I was pretty happy with how things went. We managed to avoid the likes of Manchester City and some of the bigger sides still left in the competition and managed to get what I believe is one of the weaker sides. But that does not mean it's going to be an easy game. Braga have one of the best youth um, youth conveyor belts on Football Manager. I'm always seeing really high potential youngsters coming out of Braga. But it doesn't look like any of them are starting. They've got the likes of Sequeira. Uh, was he former Atletico Madrid? No, I'm completely lying there. Who am I thinking of? I'm thinking of somebody else. I think he was Italian. Anyway, some decent players. Andrea Horta there playing in the centre of midfield for them today. Um, he is available for 21.5 million according to my scouts. You never know. Matthias in goal is a decent little keeper. Um, but I think we've definitely got a superior side. So we'll see how that plays out in today's game. A quiet opening 15 minutes or so. Neither side really taking control of this game, so I've pulled back from attacking and went to a more positive team mentality to see if we we're able to keep possession a little bit better. But Horta, what a ball over the top that is. Jack Butland, thankfully, saving that one on one opportunity for Braga. They definitely take first blood in terms of opportunities. But is this highlight continuing? Well, Esposito in the box, he gets past his man, Erling Haaland. Ah, oh, he should be scoring that. Decent save by the keeper, but either side of him there, Haaland gets the first goal of the game. Another highlight now, 34 minutes in. Erling Haaland on the right-hand side tries to cross it in. What is... I, I don't even know what happened there. Danny Olmo was um, doing some form of dance move, but he couldn't make it count. And that's going to be it for the first half. A pretty disappointing one as far as our performance goes. We did have a good couple of opportunities there to be able to go 1-0 up. But with this being the home tie as well, we really need to step it up for the second half. Jean-Pierre's not having the greatest game behind the strikers today, so I am thinking of maybe moving Daniel Moore into that attacking midfield role 
and then bringing on Mariba in the Metzala role in the centre of midfield. We'll see how the plays out for another five minutes or so. On Jin goes for goal. Bella cut chops there. We'll just rely on our centre-halves or our defenders to score if our strikers aren't up to snuff. But thankfully, we managed to go 1-0 up inside 56 minutes. Bella Kotchap with the goal, the assist by Onjin. It was a poor strike by him, really. It was straight at the keeper. But thankfully, the keeper did not keep hold of it. And Bella Kotchap can capitalise at that back post and put us 1-0 up. I'm still going to make that change, though. Danny Olmo can go in behind the strikers. Jean-Pierre can come off for Mareba, who I think is a little bit um, better suited than Jean-Pierre at playing in the centre of midfield, especially in the Metzala role. Only 15 minutes to go, we'll look to make our final two subs. Dodo's coming off for George Baldock, and Luca Pellegrini is coming off for Ender Stevens. It's all coming flooding back. That's a, that's a common double sub I make. With only injury time to go, only four minutes. Uh, you, as you can see, Braga are really going for it now, but it doesn't look like it's going to make much of a difference. Sheffield United won, Braga nil. A little bit disappointing with that result. You know, a home leg will really have to make that count. And we didn't really, so we've got a lot of work to do in the second leg away from home. Um, I'm not particularly pleased with how we performed there. I think I might... I'll have to look at the personnel maybe for the next tie. But we'll see how we get on next game against Fulham in three days. And then we have Braga away from home on Wednesday the 12th of April. So we've just uh, played Fulham and failed to make our chances count. Drawing 0-0 at home is a disappointing result against one of the worst teams in the Premier League. Sitting in 13th at the minute. Um, yeah, not very great. John pierre once again struggling to perform. I think he might need... He's had a great season, don't get me wrong, but I think he might need to be dropped for the next game against Braga. So, back for today's game, away from home against Braga. The only change coming in the form of Danny Olmo moving to the attack and midfield role and Mariba coming in to replace Jean-Pierre. As you can see, there's a lot of players. Um, I'm not going to judge these ones too harshly because they've been coming off the bench, but Danny Olmo really needs to step up today. Haaland could do with stepping up as well. Um, our attacking players not having the greatest run of form over the past five games or so. But... Um, I'm hoping putting Danny Olmo in his more natural position in attack midfield might be able to unlock the door a little bit more against Braga than what happened in that first leg. So we'll get the kick off and we'll see any changes that it might make. Doesn't look like um, Braga have made too many changes to their starting eleven either. We'll see how the game goes. First highlight of the game, six minutes in and it's Braga with a lovely through ball over the top for Horta. He goes for goal from an impossible angle and if he'd pulled that back, Braga... Probably could have levelled the tie at 1-1. One, one. Thankfully he didn't. And we can come forward ourselves. But Esposito switching the ball to Dodo. Lovely. He's in. Oh, if that was anybody with any decent finishing. That was in the back of the net. But unfortunately it wasn't to be. But a great ball by Esposito. Really good by Dodo as well. To get past his man. Just didn't have the finish. Well I was hoping this would be a little bit easier than the Porto game. But it doesn't seem to be that way. The first half is sort of ticking away with neither side really dominating the game. Um, both of us having opportunities to go 1-0 up on the, in the second leg but we'll get to half time at 0-0 obviously that's good for us we will be going through if things were to stay as they are but I'm really not comfortable with how the team is performing right now against Braga we'll have to wait and see how the second half goes this is the first highlight Danny Olmo with the corner and he whips it in oh, falls to Haaland at the back post and again another good opportunity goes begging Tilo Kera with a throw in finds Haaland on that right hand side. The ball's played at the back post, cleared by Braga and Galeno. Oh, what is that, Mariva? You have just absolutely screwed us here. Sent off, second yellow card. Danny Olmo's going to have to drop back. Um, we're going to have to. I don't really know what to do. We're going to pull our wing backs back as well. We're going to keep them on a wing back as a support. Sort of try and stifle the um, attacking wingers of Braga with this sort of formation but going down to 10 men with still 40 minutes to go is not ideal as Daniel please get this goal here whatever oh, Bella Kotchap at the back post with another header that goes over the bar half an hour to go we'll just need to hold out now Bella Kotchap with the ball Braga are pressing we do manage to find the ball through though in behind the defence Esposito shoots wide too many opportunities, boys. How many is that now? We've 
uh, just given up really. We should really be at least 1-0 up in this game. Tilo Kera finds Pellegrini on the left-hand side. Plays it through for Esposito. Oh, he hits the post. I mean, come on. If we are to go out today, we've only got ourselves to blame. We have had the opportunities. Horta comes forward. Dodo gets the challenge in. We're actually performing, <laughs> we're actually performing a bit better with the 10 men, to be quite honest. But I don't foresee that happening for the rest of the game. Bella Kotchap plays the ball back to Butland with 15 minutes to go. Braga win the ball back in their defensive area. And Wilson can come down this right-hand side for them. We are keeping keeping them well marked, though. The boys are sticking to their defensive uh, responsibilities. This is Hadjio finds Tormena. We're closing them down well as well. And is this going to be a mess up? No, it's not. Horton now brings it down on the left-hand side. Plays it through for Paulinho. He's in behind. Great challenge by Tilo Kerra. Really, really good challenge to keep us in this tie. We'll see who's struggling at there. As you would imagine, Pellegrini is. Bella Kotchap can come off for Dodo. And George Baldock can... Uh, Bella Kotchap can come off for David Patella. And Dodo can come off for George Baldock at that right wing-back spot. We need to keep our players fresh if we are to keep up with the intensity of Braga's tax, uh, tax on Jean. Gives the ball away though and the ball is played through for Paulinho. We're still playing quite a high line. We are going to drop that right now. Um, I don't want to drop it too far and change too much of our tactic. As obviously the familiarity with the players goes out the window. And it could end up causing us more problems than it's worth. With only four minutes to go. Are we going to say this game out? We are. That's it. Braga nil. Sheffield United nil. 1-0 to Sheffield United on aggregate. A very, very difficult quarter-final tie in the Europa League. Our boys are just not performing right now. Thankfully, Mariba did not screw us and get us knocked out of the Europa League. It is pretty much our main focus right now. I know Champions League football is obviously still on offer in the Premier League, but with only a four-point gap now between us and Chelsea, I would really like to potentially get at the Europa League final and maybe even win it. But Manchester City have went through in their leg. Benfica have went through in theirs as well alongside Frankfurt. So it's Benfica and Manchester City and Sheffield United against Frankfurt in the semi-finals, which will, of course, be the next episode. We've got a few games in between. FA Cup semi-final in there against Everton as well. So we'll review um, them fixtures before we kick off the two legs against Frankfurt. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.